Wake up, wake up. Wake up, people, wake up. So, family, right now, we are looking at one of the oldest churches in, you know, in Florida and the Key West. And this one is called the Cornish Memorial AME Zion Church. So, again, see American Methodist Episcopal Zion Church founded in 1796. And then, you know, see the church up here. So, this right here, we're about to go find this guy. There's a statue of him, and we're about to walk and go get him. So I gotta walk a little bit. So this is the Cornish Memorial AME Zion Church. So it was damaged by the fire, etc. So again, I had an interesting conversation with a with a brother around here, which was very interesting. But anyway, here's the church. I just found out where the uh the memorial where where his statue is at. So I'm gonna go there before I tell y'all his story. So again, see the service you see there, AME Church. So. Here's what's very interesting, right? So I, I pull up on the church and I ask the brother, where's the um the memorial for the for this guy? Where's the statue? So he shows me. So I start talking to him. And then he tells me about gentrification. Then of course this used to be a black community, but as you look around, you see tourists in the bus, and you don't look like me. You see what's going on. And then he was like, they raising the prices so much. Yeah, we got to move. Everybody's selling their houses. I'm like, damn. This is that real talk. So, while we sit around here debating about religion and debating about all these weird topics, huh, it's going down. So, again, we walking to Brother Samuel to get to go peace to the God, peace to the fam. We're going to go see this uh, memorial of this guy. So, I'll tell you a little brief history of him. Um... He bought his, his freedom, and then he became a businessman. A businessman as far as selling fruits and stuff like that. So, as he bought his freedom and his wife, he lost his papers, his freedom papers. So when he lost his freedom papers, they were burned in a fire. Slave catchers came to capture him. And once they captured him, he escaped. And then he stood before the town and told all the people that he would never be a slave ever again and he ain't going back so he like cut his arm he cut his uh he cut his uh his achilles so he couldn't go so anyway i'm walking down here this girl said this three blocks away i don't see it yet i might and i'm gonna come back on later because there's an interesting museum down here and this museum who everybody talking about that slave shit. Where's the ships at? We gonna see the Harriet Marie. We gonna see that. We gonna go all up in there. And I'm gonna look to see if I see some Egyptian artifacts. Ha! <laughs> I wanna see if I see them West Africans talking that Kenesha and stuff. But I'm still walking. What's good, what's good? Yeah, yeah, you know it's nice out here. It's nice. I'm just trying to get this little, yo, where is this damn statue? I think she gave me a fib. She told me four blocks. Anyway, as we still uh, continue on with the brother's story, I think it was interesting that he denied any form of slavery and said he'll never ever do it. He'll never ever be a slave. But in probably like a half an hour, I'm gonna jump back on and we're gonna be up in that museum and we get to look at them slave ships see some artifacts, and learn about the black community. Is that him? Nope, that's not him. Thought that was him. One statue there, nah, I don't wanna hear about these guys. But what's going on with the chat? One ship? Oh no, it's more than one ship, bro. Yeah, I like you. Make sure you tune in. ARP, AKA Aboriginal. Make sure you tune in when you see what, what, what all them artifacts that's in that joint. I know it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt bad. Primary's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Let me tell you how bad it's gonna hurt. Let me let me turn the camera around. It's gonna hurt. 
That's how bad it's gonna hurt. You're gonna start flexing your muscles, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, peace, strange. Yo, man, where's the statue? The statue don't pop up on the thing. So I'm about to flick out of here because I thought it was there. Yeah, you know it's warm where I'm at. I had to get out of here. I had to skip town, bro. I had to get out of there. It's too cold. But as they say, the gentrification is real. It's real and it's happening in every city, every state. And wherever there were black people at, we have the same common denominator or the same problem or the same issue as far as dealing with work and dealing with what profession to deal with and how you are able to maintain your family and for the people who come after you. I don't see these damn statues, man. This lady told me some fib. I think the black woman was tripping. I didn't walk too far. But anyway, I'll be back on what? Where I'm at? I'm in Key West. That's where I'm at. Please don't infect, inflict us with that Brooklyn magic. I don't know what you're talking about. Brooklyn magic. But anyway, man, make sure y'all get a chance to look up Sandy Cornish. Look him up. S-A-N-D-Y Cornish. Make sure you pop him up. Check him out. You know what I'm saying? See what he is. And uh, I'll be back on probably a half an hour. Who's this? Every ship was insured. Every slave. I don't care what you talking about. I'm about to go see the primary in 45 minutes, bro. What you going to do about that? You going to say it's fake? You going to say all the artifacts and then fake? It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt real bad. It's going to hurt. You want to see the manifestos? They got all that in there, son. It's all that in there. You know what I'm saying? You can't show us no artifacts with with no history of us being here all this time. Come on with that nonsense, bro. We about to start blocking you guys. Y'all guys are crazy. What's wrong with you, man? That shit you smoking, to cow. Yeah, so if you if you think about it, so number one, that ship is like a wreck, right? Or in this region. You had 1808, and the other year, I can't think over my head where they ended the slave trade. And once they ended that, they developed the West African Squadron. And these squadrons was uh, supposed to capture all of these illegal ships. And they would capture them. And then they would send some of them to Sierra Leone. They would send these people that got stranded here, here. And that's what happened, bro. So, what you going to deny? You going to deny the ending of the slave trade? You going to deny the West African squadron? You sound crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You going to have to deal with that, man. I know it hurt. It hurts that you don't know history, bro. So, it's okay. It's okay, AR. It's going to hurt. I'm not giving you no, no fake information, bro. What are you talking about? is the truth you're not going to deny the west african squadron and why that ship is here bro you can't deny that shit. that's why y'all sound crazy what is the oh uh, well so they made up these two fake uh international things uh 1808 in the parliament ending the slave trade bro and recapturing slave ships come on son you sound crazy but i ain't paying you with no mind I'm gonna find that damn statue. Yeah, I did, man. I did Google it, and and, and it, it ain't. I'm gonna get it, cause I was talking to the black people who live over here, and she told me to walk this way. It's only four blocks, because it, it should be right by the church, but it ain't. So that didn't make sense to me. If something is a memorial for somebody, you should have the statue right there, but it ain't there. But I'll be back on in like 40 minutes. Y'all see what I pull up. See what I pull up, man. We just here to get a history. You know, MBK on the move. Don't act like Sa in the 9 millimeter squad. Yeah.
Yeah, man. But any other questions while I'm out here? You know what I'm saying? No questions, nothing popping. Well, I'll be signing off. Peace to Julanda. Peace to... Yo, who the hell is that? Rob Bourne's muscle shirt. Yo, who did that? Yo. <laughs> Y'all making fake profiles. That's crazy, bro. The transatlantic trade is fake. Oh, you APR. As soon as you saw... I, what made you come on the live, brother? As soon as you saw that, you must have had a heart attack. All I did was put AME, and it's so it's, it's, it's interesting that we are here, and the A means African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. <laughs> I know it hurts. I know it hurts. But I'm out of here. I'll check y'all later. Peace out. Look out later. You gonna look at that slave ship. Make sure you pop on here, bro. Make sure you pop on.